What's going on, Aces? Welcome back to the channel. I hope that all of you are having an amazing Tuesday evening. So Tiana Taylor has made new allegations about her ex-husband, Iman Shepard, and his parenting skills amid their divorce battle. So according to TMZ, published today, Tuesday, January 9th, the singer recently filed new documents in court. And she claims that Shumpert consistently demonstrates a clear disregard for the safety of their minor children, end quote. She accused him of failing to feed their two kids food, even while inside the family's home. She also claimed that Iman smokes the ganja <laughs> around the kids and alleges that he's under the influence whenever he takes care of them. Tiana Taylor has been pushing for primary custody of their daughters, Junie and Rue, since she filed for divorce in January 2023. Has it been that long? Wow. Okay. It's just, it's, it seems like it's been so much sooner. Time is flying by. Okay. According to Radar Online, Taylor claimed that her kids are not fed properly and they appear to be disheveled while under his care. She cited one incident where Iman hired a private driver to, to drive him to the United Center. And instead of taking the kids with him, he put the kids in a ride share in Chicago alone and had them dropped off. Okay, see, that's, that's really concerning. Why would he have a, a separate driver for his kids and put them in a car alone? Like, do you know how, how dangerous that is in Chicago alone? Okay, um, that, that, that stopped me in my tracks, but okay. The documents also show that Shumpert had moved out of the home that they used to share and relocated to one of the party's fully renovated turnkey homes. And I made a separate video about that. You guys can go and check that out. Um, Taylor was left with the two kids in the party's primary residence that had been under construction for the past three years because the respondent had failed to pay for his portion of the agreed upon renovations. Iman previously responded to Taylor's claim in his own filing last month. He denied that he um, ever made the kids feel endangered and wants the quote unquote, cruel treatment claims to be stricken from the record. Um, you know what? I don't know if this is the night of the narcissist or not. <laughs> I'm trying to. What I'm trying to do is get caught up on my, um, you know, in the videos and the content and uh, get caught up on all the stories. But I'm just like, I'm blown away at the fact that um, he seems to only be concerned about himself. Just in these three examples, right? So let's go ahead and break them down. The first one really concerned me. Um, I don't know why he would think that it would be a good idea to um, even be separate, right? To take separate cars from his two children. But these girls are young. I think they're both under 12, okay? And um, anything can happen to these babies, but especially putting them in a car by themselves. I don't, I mean, he would, he would have to be under the influence because there's no one in their rational right mind that would that would put two young girls unaccompanied in a car in such a huge center um, of the world, you know, um, of our country like Chicago. Chicago is one of the biggest cities, and what happens in urban cities um, to young unaccompanied girls is unthinkable. And I can't mention them on YouTube, but adults in their rational right mind they know better. And the fact that these are his two girls right? His own flesh and blood. Um, parental neglect and things like that are felonies and they can actually put you in prison for those things. Um, him being under the influence, in my opinion, is unacceptable when you're caring for young children. You know, if you want to do that, um, send the kids to their grandparents or send them with Tiana or send them with, you know, uh, an adult that will be in their right mind taking care of them so that they can uh, address the children's needs because children can't take care of themselves, which is why they're children and they need their parents. Uh, the second thing that's really concerning to me is the fact that he's not feeding the babies. This man is a multimillionaire. So the fact that the kids are not getting, you know, sufficient food is unacceptable. You can meal prep. You're a professional athlete. He could have, you know, 
chopped up, you know, vegetables in a Tupperware container, sandwiches made, strawberries. You know, he could hire a chef if he wanted to. There's no, there's no excuse. Um, even if he didn't want to spend the money, he could, like I said, meal prep. You know, have them, you know, sal salads, sandwiches, soups already made, um, and then just tell them to go help themselves whenever they're home. There's just, there's just no excuse. He left. He left Tiana and the girls in a in a home that's under construction while he went to a home that was, you know, fully furnished and, and finished. But he left his girls and his soon to be ex-wife um, out in the cold, literally. And the fact that he wants this, quote unquote, stricken from the record further lets me know that um, he's conveying right to everybody traits of a malignant narcissist. He reminds me of a Martel Holt. He reminds me of um, a lot of these men who are just concerned about themselves and looking bad, right? Like he wants it stricken from the record when the fact is, this is your behavior. You know, I just read a, a quote recently um, that said, she's a writer and she said, um, people who are upset about me writing what they did should have been more concerned with their behavior or treated me better if they didn't want me to write the truth. You should you should have treated your children um, and your ex-wife, but, but mainly your children better if you didn't want those things on record. The fact that you are smoking under the influence while taking care of your children is illegal. The fact that you put them in a car in Chicago by themselves, and then got a, a, a separate driver for yourself. Not only does that not make sense, but it's reprehensible. Like what? And then you want it stricken from the record. Anybody else that didn't have that money and influence, they will be in prison. That's a felony. There's, a, I mean, I, I have a really close friend of mine whose mom uh, went to prison Um for neglect. Parental neglect is that's a crime. Um yeah, that's crazy. I really hope that, you know, Tiana has a, a strong support system. It's unfortunate that, you know, um he chooses, you know, substances and himself over the welfare and the well being of his children, but people do it every day. Unfortunately, you know, not all people who have kids should be parents. Fortunately for these young girls, they do have a mother, Tiana Taylor, who is fighting for them, who is, you know, documenting uh, the negligence of her soon to be or estranged, you know, um, husband, soon to be ex-husband. But it reminds me a lot of the Melody and Martel situation. You know, people who procreate, um, not everybody who does that has their has their kids' well being uh, in mind. And the older I get, the more that I realize how common it is, unfortunately. And and what's sad here is that he has the means. You know, Iman is a multimillionaire. Like, if you don't want to be bothered, I promise you, nannies are not that expensive. You can pay someone to raise your children for you. And I hate to say it like that. But it is what it is. I'd rather him hire, you know, a nanny um, to look after the girls rather than putting them in a car in Chicago by themselves if he didn't want to ride with his own children. And it's sad because that's that's your flesh and blood, you know, and it, it'd be those same type of men and women. I can't even I can't even limit it to fathers, but it's like it's, it, it blows my mind that the worst parents will look to their children when they're older for that love and support and care that they failed to provide them when they were unable to care for themselves. I promise you, like what you reap, you will sow, man. It's so crazy to me. Like what goes up must come down. And I promise you those tables will turn. There's an old adage that says, you know, um, human beings you know, you're twice a child, once an adult, right? So when you're a child, you can't do for yourself, you wear diapers. And when you're in your old age, old, old, old age, you know, 80s, 90s, you know, Lord willing, if you live that long, 
a lot of people wear diapers and they're unable to care for themselves. They look to their children. And it's like, if you ab abuse and neglect, you don't feed your children, you put them in cars by themselves and you know, you smoke around them and all these things. It's those same type of parents that will just be bewildered if their parent, if their children don't want to have a close relationship or they don't want to take care of them when they're older. They are dumbfounded. I mean, flabbergasted. And it's just like their memory is just short and they think that they were just parents of the year. But again, you know, you reap what you sow. I hope Tiana Taylor does. Um, she gets, you know, uh, custody of her girls. I hope that she's able to keep them from uh, from being endangered. And I hope that uh, she's able to financially to, um, you know, care for them on her own or get support from Iman. If he's, if he's not able to be there, uh, you know, physically, the very least he could do is support these girls financially. But I want to hear from you guys. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on this new filing from Tiana Taylor. We are back in the group chat, <laughs> um, which is fine. Um, but I want to keep you guys updated and bring you content as it comes out. Uh, please be sure to like the video, subscribe, and share if you haven't done so already. And I will catch you in the next one. Take care, aces. Bye.